another sims 2 house building video today so if you guys don't know yesterday i uploaded a sims 1 speed build because you know why because the sims franchise is turning 17 years old in two days like literally two days from now on february 4th which i'm really really excited for so it'll be turning 17 that means i've been playing the sims for 17 years man i'm old but either way i still love the sims i can never get bored of it because it's the sims and you can do whatever you want in the sims so what's the point of like stopping Anywho, so today I am building a cottage house, which is actually called Crumple Bottom Cottage. The only reason why is because if you don't know who Miss Crunkle Bottom is, she's the most bitter lady I've ever met in the Sims in the Sims franchise ever. Like, she's so bitter, I wish she just dropped dead because she. Okay, I don't know why, but the, it's I, mean, I don't know if it's just me or just my Sims. I don't know. I feel like it's just me because like every time I play the Sims fran like the Sims one, two, or three. I don't know how it happens, but Miss Crunklebottom always just wants to hit my Sims and just nag and nag, 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 nag. I feel like one day she's going to pull out that needle from her big old purse and just stab me with it. I feel like that's going to happen one day, and I don't want that to happen. So, in The Sims 2, Miss Crunklebottom is an old bitter lady who just walks around the whole entire world. Yeah, in The, in the Sims 2 world. And she just kind of walks, like, with her little purse, with, with her, both of her hands on her purse, just walking like a little nun, whatever. And then she just stops for a minute. She just knits her little stuff and just be cranky as ever. She sees a young, foolish person, goes over there, nags, hits them with her purse. I'm like, okay. Okay, Agnes. <laughs> Agnes Crunkle Bottom, you know what? Bye. See you later. I don't want to see your face ever again. She's so bitter. I cannot stand her anymore. Like, I can't. So that's why I want, that's why I'm building her a house. So in whenever I play The Sims 2, I'm going to be using this house because I want her to like stop moving around the house, like moving around the world, coming to my Sims house and basically just nagging them for no reason. I don't know how that happens, but somehow she ends up being on my lot and rings my doorbell and then all she does is just nag. Just nag, nag, nag. I'm like, "Why? <laughs> Please stop. Go away. You have a life." Well, not really. You just your life is technically being boring and bitter. Still, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So, today, it's a small little cottage house. I only wanted to do a one-bedroom, one one bedroom, one bathroom house. And this house? Okay. So, before this, before I did the speed build, I was building a, an actual suburban family home, actually. I was going to, I was doing that, actually. And it was already done, and I was finished. It was all ready to go. And then, bam, game crash. I was like, yeah, great. Thanks. My life is over. So I was like, I was like ready to rage because I was like, I was not going to upload a video today. I was so mad. So, but, because it was like, it was a good house. It looked really, really cool because I had a lot of Ikea stuff in there. So that was pretty much of a thing. But I was like, you know what? No, no. I want to continue posting four videos every day. Like, no, heck no. Not four, not four videos every day. That'd be crazy. No, I mean, like, posting four speed builds each day, like Sims 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I want to keep that consistent for, again, with my Design and Decorate series, along with... It's coming up to the Sims anniversary anyway, so I wanted to make it special and build very iconic, cool homes for your Sims to use in and, and just kind of have fun with. So that's what I want to do. I was like, I'm not giving up. I'm going to per persevere and keep moving forward, and I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So here it is. <laughs> So this um, this took me about an hour to do and I was like kind of I was happy with it because I wanted to you I wanted to build like an old cottage house so I went ahead and used the what's it called I think it's called the classic category in the Sims 2 folder or whatever it's category or whatever that area so I wanted to use that area because it, it seemed more like Miss Crunklebottom Miss Crunklebottom style because she's an old bitter lady who wants to live in an old house and um, she knits so I put that knitting area and also some pottery right there as well and I also actually put a nice little cat bed with some cat posts scratching posts and uh, a little mouse and a mouse on the wall I just put a lot of like cat stuff around the house as well because I wanted her to have a cat so she wouldn't be forever alone even though she's gonna be forever alone because one day she will drop dead one day Unless she's immortal and she just lives forever. Secretly, I feel like she's a vampire who just never gets burnt in the sun. I feel like that's a thing because she's always there. No matter how old my sin is, she's always there. <laughs> that's creepy. I don't like that. <laughs> that that horrifies me. Like, wow. So in the comments below, 
Tell me who is your favorite NPC in The Sims 2, because I really want to know. Tell me, like, who's your favorite Sim NPC and why? Like, like, tell me, like, tell me your, like, your stories about that NPC. Like, have they done anything tragic, anything bad, or anything good to your Sims that you've played in The Sims 2? Like, I want to know your Sims 2 story. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Tell me your Sims 2 favorite stories. Like, like, have you, okay. How old were you, how old were you? When The Sims 2 came out, like, I was, it came out in 2006, I believe. <laughs> it's been forever. But I think I was, like, either, because I was four when The Sims 1 came out, and then five years later, I was nine. So I was probably, like, 10 or 11 when The Sims 2 came out. So that's when I started playing The Sims 2, which was really, really awesome. And either way, but yeah, who is your favorite NPC and why? And do you have any stories? I really want to know. But what else I was going to say? I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you don't remember the Sims 2 website, did you guys, did you live on the forums? Like the forums on the Sims 2 website was like the best thing ever. I made so many friends there. I don't know who they are anymore because it's been like literally forever in a day since I last been on there. I think when I last was on there was like the very last day when they shut down the Sims 2 website, which I was honestly so heartbroken and devastated. Like I was like... My childhood is gone. And then The Sims 3 came out. I was like, you know what? I'm going to play The Sims 3. But I was still heartbroken when The Sims 2 website was down and was never there anymore. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I will be fine. I will be fine. So I kind of healed. And I'm, now I'm all better. Still not, though. <laughs> like, secretly, I'm still upset. <laughs> but either way, I hope like, one day we'll find a way to like upload Sims 2 houses again without using, like, I don't know, the Sims resource or using media fire or whatever. I want to like find a way. I want to find a way. Either way, we are getting close to the end of this video into the screenshots right about not now, not now. Close, but I'm getting those lights in, those lights, and right about now. No? Yeah, right there. <laughs> so either way, I really hope you guys much enjoyed the speed build as much as I did. I know it's a little bit short because, again, it only took me about an hour to do. But either way, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, if you want to download this house for Agnes Crumble Bottom or any other old sim, by all means, download it. It's in the description, description below, of course. <laughs> Man, I'm a mess. <laughs> Clearly, I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning, built... My game crashed. I had to build again. Now it's like three something, the three something in the afternoon. So that's a thing. I love that. That's really great. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, who's your favorite NPC and why? And do you have any Sims 2 stories? And have you lived on the forums in the Sims 2 days? Let me know. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.